Visitors were caught on camera toppling ancient rock formations within Lake Mead National Recreation Area. You can hear a young girl yell for her dad not to fall as the two men continue to push chunks of stone off the cliff. These ancient red sandstone croppings are part of the Redstone Discovery Trail, a short but scenic hiking area inside the federally protected recreation area. Lake Mead officials are now seeking information on the two men seen damaging the protected rock formations. In a similar situation back in 2013, two Boy Scout leaders in Utah were identified and charged after toppling a boulder in Goblin Valley State Park. They were eventually ordered to pay thousands in restitution. In that case, the men claimed they were doing it for the safety of other guests. Some little kid was about ready to walk down here and die, and Glenn saved his life by getting the boulder out of the way. In the case of the Redstone Trail, it is unclear what the motivation was for the visitors to do this. John Haynes, public information officer for Lake Mead, described it as appalling and disgusting, stating that the Redstone area is one of his favorite places in the park. Why would you even do something like this? Like, like why on earth would you do this to this area that's so beautiful and, and they're up there just destroying it? I, I don't understand that. On the other hand, some commenters under the news story felt that fines or punishment up to possible jail time are just too much for pushing over rocks in the desert. Although I would like to commend these guys for getting out of their car and incorporating some physical activity into their trip, in my opinion, this is just not the way to do it. And it sets a bad example for the juvenile in the video. But why? We have so much beautiful native desert habitat being constantly overtaken by the city with no end in sight. It would be nice to just have some relatively undisturbed and protected natural areas left to enjoy. Ones where you shouldn't have to watch and listen to a couple guys struggling to live out their strongman fantasies. Welcome to our national parks. Walmart of the outdoors since 2020. So how do you all feel about this situation? Do you think fines or punishment are warranted in cases like this? Or do you think that protected land and rocks are too extreme? Let us know what you think in the comments below. We went to check out the damage, and after a lot of scrambling around the trails and playing in the rocks, I was pretty certain we eventually lined up where the video was shot. If our detective work was correct, then these folks were pretty high up on the cliff ledge. But why? Because all this rock naturally falls far below into a craggy dry wash already, we honestly couldn't really tell where the actual rocks fell. I guess that's a good thing at least. And whether or not you agree with the specific rules on Park Service managed lands, which is a whole nother conversation itself, I want to point out that just across the road from Redstone is a vast public wilderness area. Outside the park boundaries, you could topple rocks to your heart's content, among many other things. You might even pick up a rock hounding bug out there. Ask me how I know. If you're interested in seeing more of this beautiful Redstone area, comment below and let us know. We might make a short adventure episode on the hiking trail itself. It really is a neat little area. Give us a like on your way out and make sure to stay hydrated, stay happy out there. We'll see you next video.